Shalom. 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 Right. Uh, first and foremost, before we start, we're going to give all praises on the glory to Yahweh, Ba'ashem, Yahweh Shai, Ba'ashem, Ha'kodash. The honest of the apostles, that was a great millstone. And uh, shout out to the elect, right, with uh, being part of the great millstone in Atlanta camp. We also got the brother uh, Amawan from Charlotte camp, <clears throat> visiting. And uh, basically, you know, you see the title of the video, you know, this, this year's been coined the uh, year of the turn up. Mm -hmm. You know, the, the year of the high by Shin Yahweh Shah turning up, you know, uh, 2022, man. And as you've been seeing, the, you know, the various videos and news that have been going out, you know, things, you know, it's like years prior, you know, this year starting with a bang, man. You know, the Lord bringing the storms across America. You got wicked, false prophets getting judged, you know, and just a whole matter of other things, man. You know, and <clears throat> something that we've always prophesied that things are going to get worse, it's going to intensify. Mm -hmm. You know, the brothers, you know, through the spirit, think that this is going to be one of them years where, you know, it ain't going to let up. Mm -hmm. You're going to constantly see things happening. The judgment of the Lord is going to be going forth, you know, quicker. You know, a lot of these people are going to be getting shut down, more, more uh, prophecies, you know. So we in that time, man, are you starting to look at it? This is um, Isaiah 42 and 14. And it says, um, Matthew, start? yeah, yeah, uh, I started at 13. 13 yep, yep, yep. This is Isaiah 42 and 13. And it says, The Lord, Yahweh Shem Yahweh shall go forth as a mighty man. He shall stir up jealousy like a man of war. Mm -hmm. He shall cry, yea, roar. He shall prevail against his enemies. That's right. See? And this is what it's about. It says, He'll stir up jealousy like a man of war. It's good to speak about the Lord being a man of war. I'll tell you when, um, what's that? I think Jeremiah 50. How the Lord has opened up his armory, mm. you know? So the Lord's about to open up on his place on every level, man. And this is what he's going to, this is going to, um, about, about, about the enemies. Mm -hmm. He shall, he shall prevail against his enemies. He shall prevail against his enemies, man. All right? Esau in the nations and two-thirds of our own people. Mm -hmm. All right, go ahead. And it says, I have long time holding my peace. Mm -hmm. I have been still yep. and refrain myself. Now will I cry like a travailing woman. I will destroy and devour at once. That's right. And really, that's really talking about the Lord right there, mm -hmm. right? Look at all the all the all the um, all the disrespect towards the Lord, you know, towards you know uh, all the, uh, uh, mm -hmm. you know what I'm saying? And you got this guy not to even bring him up, but this guy rap the news that just you know kicked the can, you know, all of this all of this slander and the disrespect towards you. How about Shem Yahweh Shah? Hey, he ain't been, you know, he been sitting back, all right, you know, I'll let, you know, now look, now it's time the Lord's going to start opening up on you people, man. Okay, I'm going to get you a real oh, yeah, yeah, you got it. Uh, this is Revelation 11 and 8, yep. and it says, And their dead bodies shall lie in the streets of the great oh, city, yes. yep. which spiritually is called Sodom in, in Egypt, where also our Lord was crucified. The Lord also our Lord was crucified, which well, first and foremost, Esau crucified the Lord by exiting out the Lord's image, you know, taking down the, the true image of the Lord and putting up Caesar Borgia. <clears throat> but you got Israelites that basically ex the Lord out by saying, well, he ain't exist, he's an idol, you know, it's only it's only the most high you know, he ain't got no, you know, there's no mediator. You know, that's the way of you you uh, people uh, crucifying the Lord, man. That's what things gonna happen to you. You're gonna get judged, you're gonna get visited, man. The hand of the Lord is gonna be upon you, black asses, man. That's right. You know? Go ahead. Oh, yeah, back in Isaiah 42 yep. and uh, 15, and it says, And I will make waste mountains and hills and dry up all their herbs, mm -hmm. and I will make their rivers islands, and I will dry up the pools. That's right. Mm -hmm. So we'll drop the, the, drop the, the, drop the mountains, which is going to the governments, you know, which the ultimate government is over here in America, Babylon, man. The Lord's going to dry this, dry this place out. Yep. You see you know, a small inkling of that earlier, the pictures you put in the booth. When they have shells on the supermarket uh, drying up. There's going to be a famine. That's another thing, too. That's part of the prophecies, man. The Lord will bring that famine. He's going, he going to dry this place up. You know? yep. Right? Go ahead. Um, verse 16, and it says, and I, will bring, and I will bring the blind by a way that they knew not. Mm -hmm. I will lead them in paths that they have, known, have not known. Mm -hmm. I will make darkness light before them and crooked things straight, these things will I do unto them, 
and not shake and not forsake the baby. Because yeah, 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 yeah. And that's heavy because the scriptures say that the earth, we know that as it says in Isaiah uh, 24, that the earth shall shake to and fro. Mm -hmm. And we know that's going to be with the missiles, but even spiritually, yeah, yeah, yeah. man, this place is going to get real, it's going to get shaky. It's yeah. not just going to be a uh, plain, plain, confident paths anymore. Right. Yeah. Everything is going to be crazy. So the Lord is saying that he's going to... Uh, uh, light and dark, the light and the dark and paths. That's because the Lord is going to be with you. Because it's going to be all all kinds of chaos and hell, loud noises, bad smells. Every every bit of your senses are going to be affected on 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 a thousand behind what's going on, and you you're going to need the Lord to really stabilize you. That's right, brother. That's why I may say, uh, which I'm, I was just now scrolling through uh, this article under the end of the American Dream dot com. And the article is, uh, have the pandemics of 2022 already started? And I'm scrolling through, and they're basically saying, speaking about all kinds of new infections and disease outbreaks, like a new strains of bird flu in Israel. You know, it's all kinds of different plagues that is not even really being reported like that. That's yeah. being brought, you know what I'm saying? Because what? The main, uh, what's the word I want to find? You know, the main elephant in the room is the, is the O. Mm -hmm. You know, so that's the main thing that the governments can really focus on, and all these other things that's swarming around, they can't put too much interest into it because they're already stretched in from this one uh, strain mm -hmm. alone. Exactly. You know, and that's what what the Lord was saying. He said when He's gonna send plagues, He's really gonna bombard this place left and right, mm -hmm. and the spirit of Yahweh Shem has to be with you for you to for you to make it through these different um you know, turbulent times. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I got something real quick. Uh, Psalms nine and sixteen. The Lord is known by the judgment which he executed. Mm -hmm. The wicked is snared in the work of his own hands. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so like we, what we was going into, the Lord is about to start divvying out based upon the deeds that you do down here on the earth. That's what makes him a righteous judge because nobody's going to get judged unrighteously. Mm -hmm. Even if the judgment is cruel, it's still going to be considered and fall in the category of righteousness because he's going to give it to you according to what you do. That's right. So anything that we see happening under the sun, we know that it's sanctioned and authorized by Yahweh Bashamah was shot. So when the Lord turned up and we started to see judgment, we must, hey, right, hey that's the judgment of the Lord. Mm -hmm. Hey, that's Yahweh Bashamah was shot. You sit up here and call him Jesus Christ. You sit up here and call him Yeshua. Okay, but then when you start judging, you get offended. <clears throat> Yeah, because you're starting to see that the names and the, and the things that you're saying pertaining to the scriptures is not of the Bible. Mm -hmm. A lot of you, a lot of you people out here are compromised. Yep. Okay, Christianity is compromised, man. Mm -hmm. Certain Hebrew Israelite schools and factions are compromised, and the Lord is about to start turning up, and He's about to start visiting every church, even GMS. Yeah, you get everybody gets mad and gets offended when when we speak, but then we get on each other. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay? So we don't hold bar when it comes down to, to, to standing properly to the standard, man. So when the Lord starts turning up and giving out that judgment, you got to take your lick, my man. Because that's how the Lord is known, through the judgment that he executes, man. You right. can't be a poor sport. Here it is, you, you want to do all this wickedness and be Billy Badass, then when you get judged, you be a poor sport. <laughs> mm -hmm. No, take it on the chin. You got to take it on the chin. You know? Hey, like Hezekiah. You know, when, when Hezekiah got cursed, you know, the most what was it, uh, Lord cursed him with an ailment, he took it on the chin. Yeah, I was yeah. I took it on the chin. Yeah, I was yeah. I took it, yeah. took it on the chin. But you know, you said, a lot of JQ poor sports, because when they start to see if the Lord, you know, actually turns, you know, the energy towards their direction, you know, now they want to bow out. You know, they can dish it, but they can't take it. They can dish it, but they can't take it. I think King David said in one of the songs, judge me according to my um, integrity. Yeah, right. time, yeah. So these people, what you're speaking on is people have a terrible, a lack of integrity. Mm -hmm. Yeah, because yeah, the scripture says what? And I'm, I'm going to let you get it real quick. But the scripture says what? I will bear the indignation of the Father. Because I sinned against him. Because I was Michael. So we know that if the Lord brings judgment upon us, our first reaction is to repent. Yeah. Salaki, you, you, you might start crying, shedding tears, or mm -hmm. you might go on a fast, you might cut certain things out of your diet. Shook up. Yeah, your spirit might be but might change. You know, you might get a lot more humble mm -hmm. when you're around brothers. Why? Because you you feeling you ain't being a poor sport. Yeah. You, you, you know, you know, I, I slipped, man. But a lot of you guys think you haven't slipped. Right so the Lord's gonna have to turn up. Because they pride, they met that pride. Yep. You we got, got people on earth that's never said sorry. Oh hell, never repented. 
Damn. Ever. <laughs> this is real quick. Galatians 6 and 7. It says, Be not deceived, and how about shim thou shine and not mock? But whatsoever a man soweth, that shall he also reap. And it also says that every idle word that a man says shall be brought into account. That's right. So when you're saying certain things, you're mocking the Lord, you're mocking the prophets, you know that certain men are dedicated to the course such as the apostles and elders, and, and, and doctrine that you were once told. Because the scriptures speak about to uh, continue in that which thou hast learned. Yep. You know, the elders and apostles, the elder Ari and uh, those other elders, they taught the name of Yahweh and Yahweh Shah. You know, they taught about the 12 tribes. And that goes for a lot of these guys, man. These in the law. You know, like the apostles. Yeah, it's in the law. You know, mm -hmm. like a lot of these uh, new, is, you know, new and improved Israelite camps, so to speak. You know, I'm just saying that for sheets because they really going off. But they, they'll teach things that. You know, aren't in the scriptures, and they'll, they'll rebuke the twelve tribes. Count, you know, chart. They'll rebuke all these different things, and then they start to see that you know they 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 don't have any fuel like it or these other groups. You know, <laughs> and the most I basically extinguish their whole shit from a, a short standpoint. Yep. But they'll never repent and say, all right, it, it, it's showing through the spirit. It, you know, how about you guys start dealing with those men? Yeah, they don't realize like getting more. to what they do is they get oh, further away from the scriptures. They get more mm -hmm. like. They get away more from the scriptures. Yeah, you know, and the further you get away from the scriptures, that's the further away you get from the heavenly fathers. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. That's why you catch so much hell and you deal with so much things to where you have to to to, to wear your heart in your sleeve and, and, and make certain points to kind of pat yourself in the back because you're lacking your relationship with the Lord, but you don't want to turn from it. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You know? Any more than that one? Or, uh, one more verse. Verse, uh, verse 6 and uh, 8. But he that sold to his flesh shall also of the flesh reap corruption. But he that sold to the spirit. And well, you know what? It's manifested too in the spirit that a lot of the like the, the deacon was going into these other camps. Y'all are all about the flesh. Yeah. You're about selling t-shirts. You're about yeah. selling packages. Off the you know, we we we've been around to see you. Your, 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 your big Passovers. Yeah. Oh, well, they had, just had a Passover in, in the strip club. Yeah. Okay. All right. All right? Uh, the Lord, listen, we may move on and keep it, but the Lord didn't forget that. Oh, yeah, I just want to, you got to go. Yeah, that's right. Point. Yeah, yeah, and then when the apostles say something like Sakari fans, mm -hmm. they'll talk the most shit about the apostles and others. Great. They not doing the bullshit that you guys are involved in, mm -hmm. you mm -hmm. know? And then when you get God on, like, y'all remember when the whole ordeal happened, they was like, all right, well, we, we just ain't going to teach no more. You know, yeah. we just, oh, yeah. we basically ain't going to fall back from Israel. Yeah, we, we just going to fall back from Israel. But then, you know, when Satan started to get back in their heads and, yeah. you know, you know, then they come back talking shit. You know? Reality show. Yeah, with a, with a reality <laughs> show. But it's starting to show, like scripture speak about, at, at, at these times, it's showing who the men of the Lord is. That's right. Mm -hmm. You know, Pastor the heart apostles, they've been teaching it. You know, they have it switched up, turned to the right, turned to the left. That's right. Everything that they've been speaking about proxy, we see it marching down it's through the left the, the, Yep. Coming down to the pipeline mm -hmm. that we are down. Yep. Including the MOTV, which God is still scoffing at. Yeah, still, uh, still scoffing at. Still scoffing at. Cactuses are y'all there. They realize they took us in their hand and they fought. It says, that he that sold to the Spirit shall the Spirit reap life everlasting. Mm -hmm. And we put the point of being made, man. We are seeing, you know, the fruits being manifested on both sides of uh, the flesh and in the Spirit. And you can see yeah. who, who made the Lord of the Lord's way. And turn up. Mm -hmm. Turn up mm -hmm. is, is another word for what? Reaping. Mm -hmm. Okay? Because when it, whenever something reaps, it, you, whenever something is ready to reap, it grows, it what? It grows up. Or in other words, it turns up so that you can pluck it. So when the Lord turn up and he bring judgment, that means that he's going to do it on the right-hand side too. Mm -hmm. Okay? Just add, adding to uh, the point from the scripture that the brother uh, priest Amawan just brought out. Okay? If you if you sow to the spirit, you're going to reap the spirit. So the Lord going to turn your spirit up in righteousness. That's right. Real, real quick. Mm -hmm. You mentioned turn up, so I looked the definition up, and it says to put in appearance or rock. Oh, come on, man. Mm -hmm. So the Lord, Yahweh Bashima Shah is going to, he's going to turn up everything. Every, all the vibrations of the earth is going to be turned and geared into the direction of prophecy, mm -hmm. including the man of the Lord, man. Yeah. That's right. Okay? Because before we get out of America, there will be miracles that pe that, that the Lord is going to put in, on demonstration. That fame. Mm -hmm. That fame has to come. Mm -hmm. Okay? Uh... Zechariah, the third chapter. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. The Lord said, I will pour out my spirit upon all flesh. All flesh. Okay, there's there's, a, there's an abundance of different things that's going to take place in these latter times, man. So the Lord is going to turn up the frequency of prophecy. Hey, Daniel, the 12th chapter 
says that mm -hmm. that those that turn many to righteousness yep. shall shine, shine man. man. That's a turn. That's literally the Lord turning up your spirit to the point where you have aura. That's mm -hmm. that's how strong that is. I just yeah. thought about yeah. that. Like mm -hmm. Moses. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you know, wisdom make it our face. He had to wear that veil. He was in the presence of the Lord. So the turn up is the turn up is not just in in one thing. The turn up is in many things. Yeah. Man. So mm -hmm. It's just it's the, 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 the spirit moved on the parts of heart according the year of Yahweh Bashima was shot turning up, and that encompasses a lot of different things. Mm -hmm. Okay, from judgment to to uh, to mercy. Mm -hmm. Okay. The, a great flood of believers. That's a yeah. turn up. Yeah. Yeah. You know, I got a quick, I got a quick pre if I may interject. This is um, Psalms 50 and um, and 22. It says, "Now consider this, ye that forget the Most High, because like what the priest said, you know, y'all have put y'all self in positions where y'all forgot the Most High. Okay, in order to in order to forget something, you must know it first. Yep. Yep. Okay? Otherwise, you can't forget something you never knew. Right. Okay? And at one point in time, there was, there was, the, 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 the way that this gospel, or the way that this Israelite doctrine thing has spread out, it started from grassroots, man. Grassroots. Mm -hmm. right, grassroots. Okay? Yeah. So that means at one point in time, everybody was subscribing to that, to that way. That's right. Initially. Mm -hmm. now, I remember mm -hmm. when, when, when YouTube, when I first got on YouTube, it wasn't that many different churches, man. It right. wasn't that many different breakdowns. Mm -hmm. You ain't hear nothing about no Old Testaments. You might have, they might have been around, but you ain't hear about them like that. Yeah, they were, yeah. Now you you fast forward to 2021, and this this thing that just became yeah. a, a, a circus. You know, what I'm yeah. saying? it can't be as like I'm saying, I'm like man, it's probably millions of Jake in Atlanta alone that know they're Israelites. Oh, yeah. I believe that. Yeah, yeah. I believe that. They got, they got the online Israelites. They got online. Online. They're making some groups that Israelites within other groups. I've seen yeah, like yeah. Israelites saying, uh. You know, we're gonna do like the NFT groups. You know, I mean, wow. so it's like, man, it, 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 it splits outside the split, outside the split. Yeah. Yeah. Because you know, at the scripture say, First Corinthians four and nine, the Lord said that He, he appointed the apostles at last yeah. unto death. Right. Everything has had its run. Yeah. So you yeah. niggas, yeah. you niggas, you you coming back home? You just wicked yeah. nigg Israelites. That's a, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. You before yeah. we were dealing with African Americans, yeah. Yeah. right? You know, uh, yeah. Moors, yeah. Kimmys. Yeah. We were dealing yeah. with yeah. all yeah. these. There's nothing left. Yeah. Everything has yeah. ran its course. Yeah. So you done came home yeah. and you're yeah. just wicked Israelites. That's it. Yeah. I, I got a little, little bit more. A little bit more. It says, um, "Now consider this." Ye that forget the most high, least I tear you in pieces mm. and there be none to deliver you. Mm. And that's what, what happens, man. Okay, you forget your how about Shema was shy, you forsake the way, you show no honor and no respect to the prophets, which that's who the Lord speaks right. through. And Apostle R said it clear clear as day in the video that he just did, the response to GMS uh, is wicked niggas or something like that. Mm -hmm. And in the video, he said, "Have y'all have y'all even considered that the Most High is speaking through us?" Yeah, he said, yeah. Yeah. He said, "Y'all, y'all not even considering that maybe the Most High is actually speaking through us to correct you." Yeah. But guess what? The mm -hmm. Lord said, "Consider, and at least you forget the Most High, and I tear you in pieces." Mm -hmm. So when the Lord starts tearing you in pieces, you're gonna see, okay? And and and, and being a prophet part. of the Most High, you have to speak like this, man. Right. Okay, you have to talk like this because we go, we're dealing with a stiff-necked people. Mm -hmm. right. Okay, Jake, it, it, Jake is hard-headed and they're full of pride. Mm -hmm. Okay, and eventually your how about your mouth is going to turn up on it. Everybody going to get turned up one way or another. Mm -hmm. Were you were you good or bad? Okay, the Lord going to hey, the scripture say like the uh, brother said, they that turn many to righteousness, the Lord going to turn the right. Mm -hmm. He going to turn them up in the spirit. Just as well, he going to turn up the judgment on the wicked. Yeah. And these are the things that's going to go down in these latter days, man. Mm -hmm. Believe you me, this world is about to get a handful of judgment. Yeah, right. Okay? Mm -hmm. I did a video the other day titled, um, eventually the Lord's going to throw his right hand. Mm -hmm. You know, mm -hmm. like you look at boxing, you yeah. jab, yeah. you jab, you yeah. jab, you use your left hand, you your right, your right hand to fight him. That's just like a tester, you're testing the guy out, testing his range, yeah. you're setting up your shots. That, like you said, the right hand is. is Power, that's, that's the, you know, that's the yeah, yeah. knockout blow. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, so yeah, the Lord, you know, you, you know, utilizing Esau and you know, the mandates and the pandemic and all that. That's that's the left hand at work. 
when the Lord asks you to throw that right hand, it's gonna it's gonna throw you before a goddamn move, man. I, I got a precept. Mm -hmm. This this the right hand right here. First Peter 4 17. <coughs> For the time has come that judgment must begin at the house of the most high. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hey, that's that right hand, man. The Lord is coming with a that's that's gonna be a, a knockout blow to a lot of you uh yeah, people yeah. Who, who call yourselves believers, man. Mm -hmm. You know? Yeah, and the Lord is even giving grace to a lot of these um People that believe on these shepherds, because the scripture says, "Smite the shepherd, and the sheep shall scatter." Yeah. You know, a lot of these shepherds, yeah. these guys, and it's said they're gonna be people with more strikes. Yeah. So when it's actually shown, it's like you know, like this whole thing with I see GJC, like this, this so-called guy said, "Coupler," he got put to death. Right. Mm -hmm. So now is the decision: Do you continue with that bullshit, or do you actually find, find, find the truth? Because the scripture says, "Smite mm -hmm. the sheep, shepherd, and the sheep shall scatter." Yeah. You know, if you believe you're Israelite. We know that this is the truth, but that shepherd that you was under showed himself to not be right. Mm -hmm. But Jake don't think, Jake doesn't have the faculty exactly. to actually crunch things down. I mean, it might be some of those guys, I don't know, you know what I'm saying, I'm not the most high. But for the, for the most part, a lot of those, you know, guys, they're going to continue their bullshit, you know, until the end. And it shows you it's, it's that level it's of gonna pride. Be a few, it's going to be a, a, yeah. a few that's going to come yeah. out, but the majority yeah. of them are, are lost causes. Man. Yeah. Yeah. A lot of them are, are fully enchanted. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay, yeah. fully enchanted and, and bewitched, but they try to say we bewitching, bewitching with what? What what tools and methods are we using to bewitch anybody? Right. You have these right. illustrious uh, Passovers and these illustrious weddings right. and these different signs mm -hmm. and crumbling intros. Mm -hmm. right. You know, yeah. you have the the the, uh, the, 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 the bewitching mm -hmm. studios and shit. Yeah, yeah, studios and. and uh, of uh, five hundred one C threes, and you probably you probably got some goddamn tuition programs. For all we know, right. oh, so well, they, they got to what they, they got a birth certificate. You got to really register to get into. I think they got them guys that yeah. are slaving. Look, look, see, they, 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 they but see, well, my, I'm sorry, priest, <laughs> but you know what the scriptures say, right? It said, it said, John came neither eating nor drinking. They yeah. called him the devil. Yeah. Yahusha yeah. came eating and drinking. They called him the devil. Yeah. So it don't matter what we do, yeah. we still gonna be looked at as as as, as, as mm -hmm. the uh, filth of the earth. Cause right. you know why? Cause as the scriptures say, you don't hate us, you hate the most high. Exactly. Right. Right. You don't hate us. Right. Cause like you said, you don't know us, and we don't know you. We're just a bunch bunch of bunch of crumb bums leaving to them that just yeah. teach the Bible. Why? So, why, why is crumb bums got you so bothered? Right. The scriptures say, "Am I thy enemy?" Because I tell you the truth. Exactly. Yeah, that's, 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 that's what it. That, yeah. That's what exactly. it all boils down. Yeah. I'll finish. Yeah. I'll finish. Yeah. 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 It, it says, "And if it begin, and if it first begin at us, what shall the end be of them that obey not the gospel of the Most High?" Ooh. So this is talking about everyone uh, without, everyone that's without the understanding, you know, that's on the outside of, of Israel. How much more are, are you going to get judged mm -hmm. than somebody who actually knows? That they are Israelite, you know, and so that's another. That's that's like I said, the judgment. That's the Lord turning up, man. Mm -hmm. You know, yeah. you got it. I got one. Did real yeah, quick. and if I may add, you know, because a lot of these guys they like to talk shit, but they really try to underestimate their enemy. Like this whole thing with the MOTB. You don't think that this devil is berserk enough to try to microchip each and every one of these people? You really trying to put this devil in a certain mindset, like he won't go that far? You know, Jake. That's that's. Cause they what they've been in America too bad that long, man. Jesus, and you, Jake, they, they, Jace is out there. And you, and you saying Jake's be watching the Matrix? You watch all these fucking movies. Right. You know it actually goes into mass control. Yep. You know you watch these different. I've seen at least 30, 40 movies with like a hundred. I'm about to say if yeah, not one, I'm just throwing a number. number. It had to be at least a hundred movies. Yeah. I personally, you know what I'm saying? Or we personally saying collectively, you know. That goes into the chip. You guys watch the same movies, man. Yep. Mm -hmm. You know, yep. same stuff. Same, same thing. thing. Same thing. It's popular. We all watch it. We all watch it. But <laughs> you guys, you don't want to acknowledge the truth. Yep. Yep. All right, real quick, what is this? Uh, Jeremiah twenty three and one, and it says, "Woe be unto the pastors mm. that destroy and scatter the sheep of my pasture," mm. saith the Lord. Therefore, thus saith the Lord, Power of Israel, uh, best. Therefore, thus saith the Lord, power of Israel, against the pastors that feed my people. Ye have scattered my flock and driven them away and have not visited them. Behold, I will visit upon you the evil of your doing, saith the Lord. Ooh, and that's exactly what I was saying. They, they get further away from the scriptures. So that puts them in a position where they're further away from the Mosiah. Mm -hmm. And now, now, 
the Lord is 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 given to these 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 Israelites that know and these leaders. He's given to them what they deserve. Because how many of them really are calling on Yahweh Hashemah and push forward that name and rap the news didn't? Right. He slept. Well, he slandered Yahweh Yeah. He slanders yeah. the media. Mm -hmm. And a lot of those guys do do a lot of wicked shit to the people in their congregation mm -hmm. because they know that they're in certain positions. Yep. Remember that whole thing with this guy, uh, the pocket. Yeah. Oh, oh yeah. 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 Yeah, that was like, what happened to that? And they had audio calls with, with Nate on there, basically down with the whole conspiracy. Mm -hmm. One was back and, and everything. The other old school, um, old school, so it's like the Old Testament Israelites out that way. Oh, yeah. With, um, remember, they got caught up in a situation with um, mm -hmm. uh, um, molestation. Molestation, uh -huh. yeah. So it's a lot of wicked shit that be happening in these in these congregations, man. So the mm -hmm. Lord going, like you said, the Lord going to visit these congregations, yeah. woe yeah. unto you pastors. So the Lord is going, that could be, this could be the year where the Lord just start removing so the, the word can come out with free course, man. Yeah. Right. They ain't no scoffer. Right. Right. Yeah. yeah, just get rid of yeah. all of you. So when people really genuine, because see, when, so the when these people the genuinely want answers, when they want answers, they, ain't gotta go they don't got to go through the bullshit that so many of us had to go through yeah. with. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Hey, you, look, you, look, you look sincere, Sean. Yeah. 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 Teach you your bullshit. Right. 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 You, yeah, you know. Yeah. So it's 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 uh it's just a matter of time for the Lord. That's good to say. It's who mouths must be stopped. Yeah. Lord's gonna remove yeah. you out of the way. Stop. You know. I look for that. I was gonna say I was about to get that. That's oh, now hold it. Oh, you got to do it. I was waiting, I'm waiting for the right time. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and they're messing like this. They hot, man. Yeah. Good, good, good. No, these hot, these hot boys. I'm doing my, I'm doing my. Okay, good. I'm gonna Malachi one. <laughs> yeah. Malachi 1 and 6 A son honors his father And a servant his master If then I be a father Where is my honor? Because a lot of our people Y'all dishonor the most high man yeah, yeah. Like like the, like Pastor the Hart said You know you can't If you praise the Lord You call him any yeah. anything other than his name That's disrespectful man yeah. That's supposed to be your father Where is his honor? Right. Okay it says, and if I be a master, where is my fear? And mm. we always say that, where's the fear? Yeah. Just like a lot of people would. Y'all feel your boss on your job more than you feel your house about your job. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You know? Getting fear of write-ups and, 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 you know, sent home instead of fearing what the Lord can do to you. So right. that's about to change. That's right, brother. Mm -hmm. It says, mm. and if I be a master, where is my fear? Say, if you hover. I should be able to shout to you. That's how you know that these are those wicked Pharisees and Sadducees because they were more fearful of the, the Roman government than, than the most high, basically, mm -hmm. through Yahweh Shah. Yeah, that was basically like the most high on earth, through, you know what I'm saying, the spirit of the son, because he came in the image of the father. And then you're saying that Esau, you know, the left hand side was at his pinnacle. And what was the majority of those Jakes choosing to serve? Fuck the Caesar. Caesar. Yeah, Caesar. Yeah, yeah, Caesar. Yeah, we have yeah. the king of Caesar. They was willing to <laughs> crucify the Lord. Actually, put him on a, a cross. You let him get beat, free of prisoner, free of murder. They chose a nigga. They chose, they chose, chose a nigga. nigga. Mm -hmm. You know, over that. You know what I'm saying? Over that actual uh, Lord and Savior. So how much more fast forward to today's time? The most wickedest time. Jake is way more brute. They on way more drugs than they was because they had drugs back in ancient Rome and things of that nature. Mm -hmm. You know, hallucinogens and shit. Jake on way more drugs. You know, they went they in worse projects. You know, worse conditions. Yeah. You know, they more turned up on the left hand side. So you know yeah. the most I gotta turn up on the right hand side. Right. Mm -hmm. I mean Jake could if you would have asked Jake who would you would you know rather have a return, the Messiah or young dog? No, you gonna choose the dog. You know? Jeez. That's just how wicked y'all are. That's a damn shame. Yeah. 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 A lot of the Israelites do, do that too. That's right. what I that's, hey, man, that's, a, that's a shame and that's a man. that's a blot in Israel. The Lord gonna go yeah. clean that blot up. Mm -hmm. That's mm -hmm. a damn shame. You know, we've been dealing with this. Hey, hey man, Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah been dealing with this since the beginning. Yep. The Lord is getting ready to, to travail, man. Mm -hmm. The Lord about to he about to yell out in judgment, man. Yeah. Outcry. Straight up and down, roar, man. The scripture say he's gonna roar like a mighty lion, man. Yeah. And, and, and you know what, man? When the Lord comes through with that shaft, we get out the way. Yep. Yeah. You know, we pray for we pray for repentance. We pray, we, we say we sorry, we, we, we kiss the sun, we should be angry, because it's it's literally disgusting. Yeah, it's disgusting, man. You know, and it just gotta and some things just gotta be said, and if we gotta be the ones to say it, we gotta say it. That's right. You know, but you gotta know, Kabash. 
I'm sorry. I'm sorry, bro. No, it's not good. Uh, it says, and if I be a master, where is my fear? Saith Yahweh Bashiach Shah unto you, O priest that despise my name, and ye say, mm, Wherein have we despised thy name? They despise that name. You know, a lot of people talk the most shit about the name Yahweh no, Shah. That's right, bro. You no, know, it's a lot of guys that have, that have talked, you know, came up and you know tried to dispute the name of the Lord. You know, and we, yeah. like we said, that Nate, Nate wrote down that he didn't have to go that far. Yeah. yeah. He did not have to go that far, but he chose to go that far. You know, that's, that's what our scripture says, every idle word. He could have just said, you know what, we don't believe in the name, we'll take the rebukes for the name. He went in, whatever the hell, had a little carbon on the body. Yeah, he wrote it on the rock. He wrote it on the rock. He says, it written backwards. Written, yeah. wrote it backwards. He know how to, and he was one of the main teachers. I was about to say that. He, he had a whole video breaking down the name beautifully, man. Like, that, that, that was a long segment, man. And you know what's so crazy about that that particular video? One of them wrote it. They wrote it on the actual rock. Mm -hmm. Right. You know what I'm saying? Yes. Showing you that they had it on. They weren't yeah. yeah. like it was an archaeological find. Yeah. They 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 yeah. literally wrote it on the rock just to and do set that. the video up. Yeah. Set the camera. Like it's up. a game. Like it's a game. You know? You gonna you gonna you gonna find out. At least you repent. But they want to find Bishop Nate's on on his deathbed. That's why. That's it. At least you repent. You know, I got something real hot, man. Yeah. You know, real hot. And I'm going you know, to let Kabash get it. This is uh, Galatians 4, 16. The brother Lamar quoted it. But I want to read what the scholars, uh, how the scholars broke it down. It says, um, am I therefore become your enemy because I tell you the truth? And it says, this verse contrasts the Galatians' previous and current attitudes towards Paul. They used to esteem him highly. But now, as the Judaizers turn the reader's affection from Paul, they are beginning to regard him as an opponent because he speaks the truth of the gospel, mm -hmm. pointing out all their erroneous ways. And that's why Paul, mm -hmm. was, was Paul also was saying that uh, you would have plucked out your eyes for me, man. Yep. You know? What, what was that? Uh, I've become your enemy. That's verse 16? or uh, Verse 16. Yeah, because verse 15, that's it right there. Oh, yeah, I'll read 15. It says... Uh -huh. Uh, where where is then the blessedness ye spake of? For I bear you record that if it had been possible, ye would have plucked out your own eyes and have given them to me. Am I because it said it tells you that at one point in time they held him in a high regard, mm -hmm. but because Paul was starting to correct them, and one thing about the truth, the truth is literally set up to correct us. Mm -hmm. yeah. We've mm -hmm. all come into the truth to be corrected. <clears throat> Yeah. So if you despise correction and you hate you ain't you ain't coming in that's not yeah. you you you, ain't, you shouldn't come in the truth. Correction yeah. is grievous unto them that take it away. Okay, yeah. this is everything about us waking up to the truth. This whole journey that we on is about us being corrected. The wake up was a correction. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. It's all a part. It's a part of Israelite culture. Yeah. Like. When you found out that you was an Israelite, that was correcting that was, you yep, that on was a path right. that you were, you, you, we all thought we were African Americans or whatever the hell we thought we were, mm -hmm. until we had that moment where somebody said, no, you're not Negroes, yeah, you're, yeah. you're the tribe, and I was like, that's yeah. correction. That's correction. Yeah, that's, that's why it's yeah. interesting to say, uh, you have need that one teach you again, mm -hmm. yep. you know, mm -hmm. what you ought to know. I want to say uh, uh, Hebrews 5. Yeah, 12. that's a beautiful point, too, because a lot of Jake got that Israelite pride, man. Yeah. You know, yeah. we know that we Israelites, but it's, you still got to be, it's still a high level of humility that comes with it. Mm -hmm. And the Lord humbles us personally for you to recognize that stuff, man. Yeah. That's why we say you have to repent personally, you know, for your past sins and for the things that you do. David did. David didn't have that Israelite pride, you know, I'm a, you know, Judahite, you know, big Judah, you know, uh, you know, I, I, I'm from this, you know, the respective line, and, you know, he understood that it was a respectful and a noble thing. But he still always regarded the most high and he understood his position. That's why when Saul, Saul went against him, that's when his enemies went against him. You got 150 psalms, man. Those psalms are from a position of humility. Those yeah. don't come from a position of pride. That's right. Mm -hmm. You know, a lot of people don't have that position, you know, towards Yahweh Bashim Shah because a lot of Israelites feel entitled. Mm -hmm. yeah. Yes. That's why you feel entitled mm -hmm. to the kingdom. You feel entitled to being a king and a queen. Right. And you feel entitled to the blessings. But you don't want to actually come and serve the Lord with humility and truth and sincerity. Mm -hmm. So you come with this entitled, I'm supposed to inherit the throne of 
Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And then it it, it, it goes away. It takes you away from the true essence of what the scriptures is about. That's right. Which is 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 is, 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 is set up for what? Reproof, correction. Mm -hmm. Right. Like it tells you that it's profitable. Yeah. Uh, what's that? First Timothy yeah. four. It's profitable for get doctrine, for proof, for correction. Mm -hmm. But you come in here with this old uh, uh, fucking um. What's the dude name for coming coming to the Hakeem? Prince Hakeem. Prince Hakeem yeah. You come with that Prince Hakeem entitled, <coughs> you know, the throne. That they say they delight themselves in thrones and, and scepters. Yeah. You know? They say, well, if you like, if you delight yourselves in thrones and scepters, then you're supposed to seek out wisdom. Because yeah. if I may say, you know what happened? Yeah. Lord, because yeah. what happened? Israel went to Samuel when he was dying and said, give us a king like the other nations. Yeah. Like See, the yeah. other nations. Yeah. Yeah. See, you all have this misconception about Israel that we, like we're big, that's where the salt of the earth for all these things, but technically speaking, the nation of Israel is supposed to be the humblest nation of all the nations. Yeah, Khan, bro, Khan, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's, you know what I'm saying, that, that's the disconnect. That entitlement goes against the, the very nature of why we became here and why what we're supposed to be. Israel is literally supposed to be the most humble nation on the planet Earth. And you niggas yeah, want to be rap stars and, right. and, and trap boys and all of this with a, with a Hebrew twang. Yeah. <laughs> the scripture say, receive the grafted word with meekness, yeah. which is able to yeah. save your soul. It's supposed to be the meek of the Earth, not no. the meek of the Earth. Proud of the Earth. That's right. <laughs> so who, who has, who I had that in my uh, Timothy. Oh, oh, my bad. Yeah, you got it in my Yeah. All right. All right. Drop, drop that out. All right. This is uh, Acts <laughs> chapter 5, verse 27. And when they had brought them, they set them before the council. And the high priest asked them, verse 28, and saying, Did not we strictly command you that ye should not teach in this, this name? And behold, mm -hmm. ye have filled Jerusalem with your doctrine, and intend to bring this man's blood upon us. Then Peter and the other apostles answered and said, We ought to obey your hour rather than men. Mm -hmm. Right. Yeah, because oh, they were saying, yeah, they was like, Did we not strictly command you that you to mm -hmm. stop teaching this name? So they really couldn't. We just read that. They, they despise the name, man. Mm -hmm. You know? And it's like, you got to understand, too, through the Spirit. Like, when my brother was going to a pastor, I was speaking about, y'all never considered that, you know, the apostles, that the most side of the mouth peaks through the apostles. Mm -hmm. You know? And if the most side of the mouth peaks through the apostles, the apostles can't stop. Because what did they say with Isaiah? Exactly. You know? That it's like a fire in his mouth. You know? So when it said, you know, read, read that one part of it. Come on. Verse... 29. Then Peter and the apostles answered and said, We ought to obey your hour rather than men. Yeah, so we ought to both break, obey the most high rather than men. Mm -hmm. So the hell what a man has to say. You know, the Lord commanded, you know, to rebuke, to reprove, you know, as it is written in the book of 2 Timothy 3 and 16, then those men are going to do, do as such, man. Mm -hmm. You know, because what? Their salvation on, is on the line. It tells you that in the book of Ezekiel. <clears throat> to warn the wicked, you know, to actually. Do certain things to actually pull your brother out of the fire. Yeah, right. you know. Yeah, that's, in Jude. that's in the book of Jude. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So when you see the apostles and men that's actually doing these things, it comes really from a standpoint of love, man. Mm -hmm. right. You know, it's tough love though. See, Jake don't understand really the concept of a father figure because what they got that they always been so used to sucking on that titty, man. Yep. Yeah, that Christian church you nipple. Know. Mm -hmm. No, they don't even tell their mamas neither. They don't yeah. mama, <laughs> they they mama, they don't they're just rebellious kids. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Period. Rebels. <laughs> you got it. Right. That was real. Uh, yeah, that's it. Okay. Oh, I got that. Uh, Timothy. It's uh, 2 Timothy 3 and 16. All scripture is given by inspiration of the Most High. You start 15. I was thinking about that. And that from a child thou hast known the Holy Scriptures, mm. which are able to make thee wise unto salvation. Mm. Through faith, which and, is in Yahweh Shah And if I may say, the scripture say is able to make you wise unto salvation. Why? Because wisdom, knowledge, and understanding is going to be the stability of that time. A lot of you pride yourself on just your logos, man. Mm. Yeah. You pride yourself because you got a sister that can make the baddest garments in the camp. Mm -hmm. You know, right. speaking on you other camps out there, Because we, got, we yeah. have the same thing. Certain. Yeah. Right. You know? Certain. But guess what? We, that's not what we pride ourselves in, man. That's right. We pride ourselves in the fact that we know Yahweh Bashem mm Hashem, -hmm. and that pride of knowing the Lord leads us to being humble. Mm -hmm. That's the difference between us. Our pride in the Lord is channeled into humility. Okay, you pride yourself in, like I said, in your logos, 
and your post production. I mean, the, the hundred man camps. Yeah, hundred man camps. Why don't you have a million men marches? Yep. Okay. Yeah. But let alone your wisdom is failing you. Right. You don't know the herbs. You're not praying. You could you can heal brothers through herbs and prayer mm -hmm. and anointings, but you don't even call it a name. Mm -hmm. Right. That logo ain't gonna heal you, bro. Mm -hmm. That five hundred one c three ain't gonna get you right. Yeah, how about you know Shah is, but you you disdain him. Yeah. You 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 put him on the back burner. You project the logos and you project uh, corporations, mm -hmm. you know, in in, 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 in gatherings. It's like the LLCs. They, they use they platform to use it to exalt Yah Shah right. to exalt themselves. Exactly. That goes back to what, what I was saying earlier about this the year of self for niggas, man. That's it. That's it. Perfect. So that what they're doing is pretty much exalting themselves when you're supposed to be exalting Yah Shah. That's right. That's right, priest. You got the bars off. Okay. Well, I do want to jump up a little bit, but to verse 13, I'll read down. But it says, but evil men and seducers shall wax worse and worse, mm -hmm. deceiving and being deceived. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Both of them. Yeah, because you can't you can't deceive somebody <coughs> and you got the truth. Okay, there's no lie in the truth. There's no deception in the truth. Mm -hmm. So in order for you to, to deceive somebody, you yourself must be deceived. Yeah, and the Lord is going to turn up that deception too. Mm -hmm. You know, as much as the most High turns up on the right hand side, like what? The most High was turning up the pride of uh, Pharaoh even in Egypt. Yeah. You know, because to see all that shit to go on and still be that stiff neck, like yeah. his pride literally evolved. Yeah, yeah, he, he, he grew into a pride giant. <laughs> yeah, he, he was a pride giant, yep. Yep. Oh, same thing with uh, on 300 with Xerxes. Yep. He started to see his men get slayed, and he, the more he seen things progressively get worse for him, his pride constantly grew to the point. Where he had to make where Leonidas had to bow down in front of him, you know, directly. Right. Just to show just to get that power. Cause that that's what it boils down to, power, man. Um, a lot of these Jakes, they, they are in a power grab. Yeah, power they want to be the most high on earth. Right. And then when they start to see that, you know, the spirit is slipping from them and things of that nature, they don't want to actually acknowledge the most high and who the actual most high is actually dealing with. Man. They want to be your house shot. They want to be your shot in position. Yeah. Yeah, shot. They want when the most high gives us judgment, they want the most high to be like, well done. Mm -hmm. My favorite, you know, my yeah. son. You well, no, he already, he already said to listen to his son already. That's crazy. Now, if you're going to be a servant of his son, that's one thing. You know? You're being covetous of the Lord. They're, they're covetous of your house shot. That's, that's crazy. crazy. You what, you what, wow. how, when you think about it, that's the psychology of it. Turn yourself into a demigod. Uh, mm -hmm. How would yeah. buy a shim, you have a shy, buy a shim, and then they put their name. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. Oh, with your mind, no. It's a car, too. It's a car, too. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. she's a chief of priest. Yeah, it's a lot. It's a lot. Every year, every time. Mm -hmm. Everything, yep. <laughs> but it says, but continue thou in the things which thou hast learned, and has been assured of, knowing of whom thou hast learned them. Yeah, because the scriptures say you're supposed to be assured of the things that you learn. Okay? It's, it's another scripture. It's on the tip of my tongue. <clears throat> uh, it says something along the lines of uh, knowing whom uh, uh, thou hast learned. Yeah, knowing that's what, but that's what that just said. But it's another scripture. Uh, um, it's on the tip of my tongue. But basically, the scriptures say, "Allow not yourself to be deceived." In the book of Galatians, okay. So you, you, it's even your responsibility to protect the realm of truth around you, because you just as much as guilty if you let somebody lie to you, and you believe a lie, you just as guilty, because then you begin to promote that lie, man. Yeah. Okay. Go ahead, bro. That's why I say, what's that, bro? What's that thing? It's First Corinthians, 15th chapter. It say to be uh, be steadfast and be unmovable. Mm. Uh, you know, you gotta be like that in the in the, uh, in the doctrine too. Yeah, like mm -hmm. I mean, you know, like how like how a nigga is stubborn in wickedness. Like he, he he can't tell nah, this, I'm, you know. You can't yeah, tell You gotta be like that with the truth. Like nah, you mean nah, you mean that. Come Add that. Add it to Add it to my mind. Can I Oh wait, wait, yeah. If I'm if I may, we might know. Uh, Ezekiel three and um three and um. Eight and it says, "Behold, I have made thy face strong against their face, yep. and their forehead strong, and thy forehead strong against their foreheads, as an adamant harder than flint have I made thy forehead." Yeah, we close minded, man. Yeah. We hard headed for the Lord. Yeah. 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 We ain't open minded because when you look into the word open minded, it really does mean foolish. We were already foolish to learn this, you know. Prior to this truth, we were open minded and became yeah. fools yeah. to learn it, but yeah. now we close minded. Yeah, yeah. you know. There ain't, we ain't trying to hear your, your, your aspects of the doctrine of how it's not the MO. We ain't listening yeah. to that bullshit, man. No. Being, being open minded is homosexuality. <laughs> right. Yeah, 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 it is. It is. Yeah. That's yeah. what we yeah. yeah. Really, that's being open minded what led 
Eve's a deceiver. Yeah, exactly. Drinking that wine. Yeah, yeah. And, that, and that's what yeah. Eve always used to get you to be wicked. Just be open to it. <laughs> They'll get you to try sushi and shit. Yep. Yeah, that's right. big old ass. You know, big old ass sitting at a sushi bar. Yeah, right. Just be open to it. Just here. You know, the and next thing you know, here, try these oysters. <laughs> you know, <laughs> don't be <laughs> cool yet. Next thing you know, <laughs> just be open to cutting your beard off. Just a little, just right. clean it up. Just yeah. be open. No. And then next thing you know, you get turned into a beta male overnight. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Too damn <laughs> open. So, it's a sushi bar with right. a napkin tuck right here. Yeah. Right. And, and they're munching, <laughs> munching on, uh, on, 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 on munching on raw tuna. Because a woman told you to be open to it. Yeah. Right. Jay got it. You got to like the like the brother was saying. You got to be hard headed for truth, man. That's right. Mm -hmm. You know. But you got to go. Be open to it. I finish this off. Right. 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 And it says, "Fear them not, neither be dismayed at their looks, though they be a rebellious house." Oh, the, does that mean him a demon on Jake, man? Yeah. You know. <laughs> Because Jacob, uh, you know, and what, the main thing is online. A lot of these guys talk the most shit about yeah. the apostles and elders online, man. You know, they post that, the, any little bit of information they can use as a um, yeah, a, as an attack, whether it's attacking men's women or attacking men's lifestyles and things of that nature. We've been through it all, man. Kind of. This guy, Avenger, you know, he put he going yeah. through trying to call jobs, sabotage. Mm -hmm. We don't do that bullshit, man. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. We just stick generally with the doctrine. If a brother start doing shit like weird shit like that, he gonna get rebuked, man. Shit, good. Fucking kicked out. Kicked out. He ain't fucking calling nobody jobs and all that weirdo shit. Yeah, that's Those weird. Those brothers, they livelihood and shit. All yeah, because yeah. yeah. that's not our fight. Yeah, you got the guy from uh, Folk and talking about yeah, like, he's he's him, uh, another woman, uh, another man's woman, yeah. putting a pickle yeah. in her mouth, putting a pickle in her mouth, and and, and, that's all. and, and playing with her uh, uh, in the in the car. Got yeah. got a picture of the man's wife. Yes. Nobody's saying nothing about that. You just you gonna find a way to redirect it back. Right. You messed up. The spirit is cutting you, man. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You should be offended by the by the stuff that you're hearing out here. These other camps don't teach what you what y'all teach. Right. So why y'all ain't getting on them? Right. Why y'all ain't correcting them? Why y'all ain't got no feeling no type of feelings towards them? Okay. Oh, because they don't say your name. But they ain't correcting y'all. That's yeah, why. That's right. Right. That's right. That's, it shows you just hate because yeah. all these different camps come together. Be having all type of bullshit going on, but they all got GMS on their damn mouth. They all gonna talk about us, exactly. but never call out the shit they doing amongst each other. Right? Yeah. These yeah. niggas had a whole, they had the whole unity camp thing, and them niggas started fighting. Didn't nobody say nothing about that shit. Right. 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 Confrontation and jokes. They they try to steal the title of pedophiles and rapists. Right. Shout out to messes on on us though. But it's fine though. It's fine. Because at the end of the day, ain't none of those accusations gonna stick just like they didn't stick on your house shot. Exactly. All it's gonna do is just it's just gonna further prove who the men of the Lord are. Mm -hmm. right? Okay? Well you you got you gotta go. Uh, 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 yeah. Alright, it says uh, and that from a child thou hast known the holy scriptures, which are able to make thee wise unto salvation through faith which is in your house shot. Mm -hmm. All scripture is given by inspiration of the most high and is profitable for doctrine. For reproof, for correction. And that's, that's the point right there. Going all the way back to the initial point. You know, the reason why you wake up to the truth is to be corrected and to be reproved, man. Mm -hmm. To amend your ways. We have the scripture say, um, as it was your, your mind to go astray from the Lord, seek him then ten times more. Mm -hmm. yep. Okay? So, therefore, in that journey of seeking your how about your knowledge shot, we're going to run into a lot of personal flaws, character flaws, certain things that we were doing that were contrary to the ways of the Lord, and it's our responsibility to take that correction because that is what the doctrine is for. Mm -hmm. That's right. That's right. Okay? To guide you. I was thinking about mm -hmm. also with the uh, virgins trimming their lips. What's, what's that word trim going to? The, uh, I can see. Yeah, look into that word, word trim. Because really when the uh, virgins was trimming their lips, that was like a mechanism to make make it for the longer part the long of the, uh, the long haul. Yeah. And when you get to the end of the haul, what do you do? You turn your wicks up. You see that you... All right, it's, it's 0.5 miles. I see my vessel. I got enough to turn this thing up to get to the finish line. Yeah. We'll turn the volume up. Yeah. You know? That's right. So in the spirit, the Most High is trimming, you know, trimming us, uh, trimming our lips, refining us, doing certain things so that we'll be on point for the latter time because things are going to get darker, man. Right. So we, we got to turn up. When we think of that, we think of that scripture, it came to mind. The scripture would say, uh, when the Lord said, uh, I will set them in order for thine eyes. Yeah. Right. That, 
Yeah, some that 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 goes to that, you know, yeah. put in put in order, yeah. that correction, that proof, yeah. Yeah. that's a part of that too. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Us getting set in order. Yeah, that's right. That's, that's what we want to do. Yeah. You know, if the Lord turn up, we gotta turn up too. Yeah. You know? Turn up too. You know, yeah. we are, you know, in the same It's turned down and the Lord turning up. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, exactly. Right. Turn it up. Yep. No, no, you, no. you got yeah, some up. I had the uh, etymology. I don't know if you had the etymology of the word trunk. I had the, the blue letter. Oh, yeah. oh, okay. Well, I got the etymology. I'll read real quick. Uh, the etymology of trunk, like you said, um, the, the noun, when it's used in a noun form, it's a state of being prepared. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, we say proper preparation. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Prevents poor performance. Prevents mm -hmm. poor performance. Mm -hmm. yeah. You know? so, <laughs> yeah, we got it. So this is the prep time, prepping in the spirit. You know, because what? The Lord's finna, Lord finna hammer down these different countries, man. We already see how these lockdowns and all these things are going. We understand the picture of the world. The Most High gave us the spirit of clairvoyance to know the fucking future. Yeah. Right. We watch these movies and we see how devastating it is. And we know it's going to come to these cities. and Most of these movies be things in our cities and shit. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. The street. Yeah. The walking dead. That's right. We can look at it like, yo, that's that, 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 that's such and such. And then the next neighborhood or the next block. So, you know, the Lord is showing like, it's going to go down. Trim your lamps. Put yourself in order. The scripture says, "Put your house in order." Be yeah. rooted and established. Be rooted and established. Mm -hmm. you got it. Oh, you you want to read uh, what you had? Uh, I mean, it says it's mainly the same thing, but it okay. says uh, put in order, too. arrange, make ready, or prepare. Yes, yeah, so if you look at anything that you quote unquote trim, it's like you you preparing it, you making it ready. Whether you trim your bushes, you know, or you uh you know trim uh, some prunes, some uh, <coughs> some uh, you know. Uh, Vegetation or whatever the case may be, or even trimming your hair. Mm -hmm. You know, you might be making you making yourself ready. You might have a date, or you might get ready to go mm -hmm. to an interview, yeah, and fresh. you're gonna trim yourself. You know, trim. You might trim it. You know, to make it look you know decent and even. Well, it's the same thing with your lamp. You clean it up. You trim your lamp so that your light can shine, man. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, because it's just like a, um, I was gonna say, it's like a fireplace. You know, if you have too many ashes at the bottom of the fireplace, mm -hmm. you know what I'm saying, the fire won't burn as hot. But if you remove those ashes, the, the, the heat, the fire can catch the bricks and the fire can burn a lot more because you cleaned it up and you trimmed sure. it. Mm -hmm. You know, you've got it cleaned. And that's the same thing with your lamps. You know what I'm saying? I've seen certain candles that didn't burn because it was just too much. Too much soot. Too much the water. It's too much soot. But if you clean it up and you make it yeah. even to where the wick can be exposed and the fire right, right, can right, burn, right. it'll burn better. And that's what these that's right. individuals ain't doing, the five right. foolish virgins. Yep. Mm -hmm. Also with uh, split ends, you got to trim your ends. Women yeah. say that, you know, you, get, you, right. split, you got to trim them, in, them ends for it to actually grow Bro. efficiently. Yeah. Same thing with your beard. Same thing with your beard. Yeah, same yeah. With your beard. So trimming yeah. is very important. Mm -hmm. You got it. Mm -hmm. They said to, uh, to adorn. Because it also, you know, going into that, the, the virgins trimming, uh, trimming the lamps. You know, we're adorning ourselves for Yahweh by Shem Yahushua because we know that he's coming back for his bride. And these guys out here, they're not <coughs> doing what they got to do to present themselves acceptable to Yahweh by Shem Yahushua. So when he comes back and sees that they're, they're unworthy, he's going to get rid of them. Mm -hmm. They're right. going to have their funeral. Then I'm sorry. Well, they're going to have a funeral outfit, but they don't have that wedding garment. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. They, they, yeah. They got the funeral garments. They said they blessed right. No, I'm black. <laughs> right. I got some. They said they got black suits and hard bodies, man. Yeah. This is uh, <laughs> this is uh, Isaiah eight and twenty, to the law and to the testimony. If they speak not according to this word, it is because there is no light in them. So here it is, yo, yo, whatever little light you do have. You can't trim it because it's out. Mm -hmm. yeah. Because you're not going yeah. according to the word. Your testimony is really not real. You're really a false witness. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You really don't have a testimony because you're not going according to what was what's written. What's right? yet, yet they ran. I didn't know. Uh, mm -hmm. I didn't written. What is it? Uh, uh, um. <laughs> yeah. I didn't tell them. Yeah, I didn't, I didn't, tell them yeah, they I ran. didn't speak to them. Yet they I didn't ran. speak yeah. to them. Yet, yet yeah. they ran. Yeah, yet they ran and you <laughs> Right, so this is verse 21. It says, and they shall pass through it, hardly be stead and hungry, which uh, basically means, um, it means, uh, I'm gonna read it in the, uh, in the BBE Bible. It says, this uh, Isaiah 8, 21, and he will go through the land in bitter trouble and in need of food. Mm. And when he is unable to get food, he will become angry Cursing his king and his power, and his eyes will be turned to heaven on high. 
So basically, here it is, y'all are already not teaching the, the word the right way, okay? You're going off on the doctrine. You, you slandering and calling all kind of hell in the nation. So then when trouble finally comes, you're not going to be able to survive. Right. You're not going to have that wisdom, knowledge, and understanding mm -hmm. that's going to make you stable to eat and survive because you didn't go according to it. Yep. So now you're going through famine, catching hell, yep. martial law, Esau's on your ass, you know? You just catching all kind of turmoil. So then, uh, in verse 22, and they shall look unto the earth, and behold, trouble and darkness, dimness of anguish, and they shall be driven to darkness. So you're just going to be, what, weeping and gnashing teeth and out of darkness. You're going to be caught out there because you're not going according to the word. Mm -hmm. You know? Yep. And this is still grace for you to actually repent and to get yeah. back on the track. Mm -hmm. right? No, this is still an expression of love because it is the, you know, we're, we're mainly messengers of the Lord, preaching, you know, the word, Lord's word. The Lord is still, you know, to speak about, yet, yet my hand is stretched out still. Kind of you know, the Lord kept yeah. saying that. I think yeah. it was Isaiah. He mm -hmm. said, yet my hand was stretched out still. Yet my hand was stretched out. The Lord's hand is still stretched out. You know? But what, Jake always smacking. Nah, no, no, I do it myself. I do it myself. I don't want no you know how Jake is. You try to, yeah, yeah. Jake will yeah. be down. You try to mm -hmm. pick him up. And and slap, slap, slap your head like, man. Proud. Yeah, like it's your fault. Like it's your fault. I'm trying to help you up. I'm trying to help you Scriptures speak about uh, those who uh, seek their life shall lose their life. Mm -hmm. And Jake really loved, loved, man, Jake loved America, man. Yep. Yeah. And really, like, if Jake, if it was up to, to the two-thirds of our people, including the two-thirds that have called themselves Israelites, if this place could go on another hundred years, that would be a blessing to them. Yeah, yeah. but that's how they was back in Egypt. Yeah, yeah. They, yeah. Were, <laughs> they, they, they wanted to go back to Egypt. They yeah. kept complaining about Egypt. So it's the same, mm -hmm. the same people coming back. Oh, these are, these are, that's the spirit. Okay. Like, these ain't nothing but broken slaves. Mm -hmm. You know, mm -hmm. the scriptures speak about um, uh, uh, they trust in oppression and they stay there on. That's right. Yeah. You know, yeah. pray the part of not. Yep. So they, what, it, what it is is Esau has beaten Jake so motherfucking bad and, and has oppressed them that Jake don't even know how to even function in a self-sufficient society. Mm -hmm. Well, you don't have to worry about an oppressor. The, the whip is, is, is therapeutic to a nigga. Jake, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Jake, <laughs> Jake scared to not have a taskmaster. Yeah. You know, Jake went to, a, I remember years ago, Jake went to the Chicago camp. And they were talking about, you know, kingdom and how beautiful it was, this, that, and the third. And Jake was like, but well, where we going to work? Wow. Yo. They were like, wow. they looked at him and he was crazy. Like, <laughs> your vision of the kingdom of heaven is still you slave. Yeah. They can never want to be. I know. Yeah, they can't see themselves not labeled. I want to drop this in there because, um, you know, brother just mentioning about the, uh, the lamps and trimming the lamps. And Yahweh Shai spoke about uh, putting certain uh, people's lights out. And the candles also, the candles also represent your camps. This is um, uh, Revelation two and five. Remember therefore, from whence thou art fallen, and ultimately. How, how do you remember where you fell? By your how about Shema was shot telling where you telling you where you fell at. And he usually tells you through the prophets. Okay? It says, and repent and do the first works, or else I will this is an ultimatum. Mm -hmm. Either you do this or else, okay, I will come unto <clears throat> thee quickly and will remove thy candlestick out of his place, except thou repent. Now remember. When you read up in the chapter, it speaks about the seven candlesticks. The candlesticks represented the seven churches. So Yahweh Shah was speaking like, hey, if you don't do the first work, I, I will get rid of the whole camp. Mm -hmm. Okay? And you can relate it to the Lord just putting you out or putting your fire out. Mm -hmm. Okay? So the Lord, don't think that the Lord can't break down a, a whole camp. Okay? It's been done before. We say, yeah. guys, that go back to the old school, come to our camp. Act like they didn't even know they were Israelites. You remember yeah. that? Oh, mm -hmm. damn, we Israelites? Oh, I heard about that, Judah. Yeah. We ended up seeing his video after. Dude, he was a better teacher than all of us at the time. <laughs> like, <laughs> he, he was, was, like, was, like, he was going in. Yeah, yeah, they was like, like for what? For what? Yeah. something, right? Then he came back to like, the yeah. camp later, yeah. and it was, this was right. years, though. Jared Dunn, he was talking to him. Why that kind of group? He was like, what happened, man? You know, he was like, man, I just was doing some shit I wasn't supposed to be doing, man. You know, basically, the Lord put his camp. He said that so much where the Lord put his whole shit. He even looked different. Yeah, yeah. He totally did not have the spirit. You know, yeah, yeah, he was like, he's shaving he's face. He's like, totally yeah. in the world. Yeah. I, seen him, I seen him after that in a uh, Publix. 
that wanted a job, and he was like, yo, Hebrew. And I looked, and I was like, oh, you know, I, when I seen him, man, he was just all African American out, man. You know, small <laughs> heads, you know, but he worked, you know, he worked out for the camp, but you know, I've seen him in. You know, he, you know, he basically, you know, he's just yeah. doing his thing. And that's just a prime, that's, shit shit. that's a prime example of the Lord putting out your candle. And like I said, the, uh, the, even Apostle uh, Apostle Hart and Apostles uh, on down even said that the Lord is going to break down all these camps that he didn't set up. Mm -hmm. So that's somebody right. for the Lord putting out their camp. Oh, you, know, oh, you got it, bro. Yep. Real quick, back to you up. Uh, Matthew 15 and uh, into point 13, <clears throat> where he answered and said, every plant. Yeah. Which my heavenly Father have not planted shall be rooted up. You know, yeah. we're symbolically in this, you know, context of planting represents different um, churches and camps. A lot of these camps is planted and set up by Satan. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So, yeah. man of your high body, y'all shout out to say if you if it's uh, what it has word in Acts, if, if it be a man and sure. coming up, mm -hmm. if it be of your high body, y'all shout so it's gonna stand up paraphrasing. So, mm -hmm. yeah, all you wicked ass camps, you know, they got the, you know, the, you know, they, you know, the, you know, got deals with the government, the 501c3s, and yeah, you know, teaching teach fed, teach fed, fed camps. Fed camps. Yeah, 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 fed yeah, camps. You know. It's just hodgepodge camps. Yeah. They got a, they got a little bit of this <clears throat> Israelite in them, and they you know they're mixing all kind of other stuff yeah. within their, yeah. their congregation right. the world. Yep. That's why a lot of you guys be in, in the Christmas. Yeah. You know, they, they really be like, they'll, they'll be in certain holidays, and they'll, like, it's submerged <laughs> both. You know, a little bit of Americanization. Yeah. You know, with he, he being a Hebrew Israelite. Yeah. You it's know? like Constantine and, and Rome all over. Yeah. Because it's like yeah. levels. If you look at like with Christians, Christians are the extremists of, you know, wickedness. But you have, you know, just like it's like charts. Like you'll see like the transition. Because you got the, the extremists. They call, that's why they call it like extremist groups. Mm -hmm. The ones that actually go to the to the to the edge. And we're not Israelite like extremists to the point we're gonna chill and do all this crazy stuff. But we yeah. we go as you know we, we take it to the scripture speak about how Paul said he don't shut to declare unto you the whole gospel. Exactly. We don't hold punches. That's why the whole thing these guys don't want to touch rape. The whole thing with rape, they want to fade out of that part. They want to fade out of the Old Testament, the the, the killings. Yep. You know right. of the Most High. The ugly, judgments. The ugly of the Bible. The ugly. Right. The, 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 the ugly of the Bible. Yeah. They don't. They want to be a little yeah. bit faded. You know. They want to keep it a little bit PC. You know, mm -hmm. for the kids, you know, women. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's, that's a violation of Revelation twenty-two. Exactly. Yeah. That's unbalanced anyway. Yeah, that's see, a lot of you Jakes. I'm gonna say this in the spirit. A lot of you Jakes that know that you Israelites and you, you don't preach the mark of the beast and you teach against your house shot name. The Lord gonna start breaking you down and He gonna turn to the Gentiles, man. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You know, mm -hmm. He gonna start turning to the Gentiles yep. in, in these latter times. You know, because it's the same thing that happened back in the house shot's time, man. The circumcision was so polluted and just through that that Paul and, and, and the spirit started turning towards the Gentiles. Yeah, I know. You know, the Lord got who he got out the circumcision, and then the, everybody else was like, whatever, man. And I got a quick scripture. This is um Matthew 20, 21 and 41. It says, They say unto him, He will miserably destroy those wicked men and will let out his vineyard unto other husbands. We mm -hmm. shall render him the fruits in their due season. And the yes, other right. husband is talking about the, uh, the Gentiles, man. Mm -hmm. Okay? The Israelite foreigners. So the Lord going to destroy these wicked these wicked men that that, that, that set up by Satan. Okay? That's, that's, We're going to keep that, you know, out there in the air. A lot of y'all set up by Satan, man. Mm -hmm. Yahweh Shemal Shai spirit ain't dwelling with, with with a lot of you camps, man. Unless you, you got a, a, we're in a time of repentance. Yeah. You know? Repent and do the first works, man. It's only one truth, man. Okay, so get 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 your spirit in order, or else you are gonna fall in the ditch with these with these men. You know, and the Lord said, what he gonna he gonna turn his vine to other husband men, yeah. mm -hmm. other men that's gonna uh, properly take care of this word and teach others and yeah. build, yeah, build, yeah. He gonna prune this plant. Next verse. Yep. Oh, so you got it. Yeah, I turn right back to that next verse. Uh, Matthew 15, 14, they got it. It says, let them alone. They be blind leaders of the blind. And if the blind lead the blind, both shall fall into a ditch. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I mean, that's so explanatory. Mm -hmm. I got something. Yeah. It's uh, 1 Timothy 4 and 1. Now the Spirit speaketh expressly that in the latter times some shall depart from the faith, <coughs> giving heed to seducing spirits and doctrines of devils. Mm. Mm. <laughs> yeah, that's a lot of you guys, you know, you gave heed to seducing spirits, man. Just like brothers are saying, you know, 
a lot of you guys have proceeded to have, you know, have took that bag, you know, and, and hey, you departed from the faith. <clears throat> they teach you know? like they took a bag. Mm -hmm. Yeah. You know, the, the, it's like the, the doctrine, it clearly sounds like you took a bag. Mm -hmm. It's bag talk. Listen, if you, you, you swerve it over, they just swerve over the main points in the scriptures. Kobe mm -hmm. came in with a new look. <laughs> yeah, they had a whole deal. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Yeah, yeah, yeah
Really, all the prophets still under there. Dang. Which Yahweh Shah was the, the the main one, but all the prophets that came after Moses, yeah. when you read what Ezekiel, it talks about you warn the people that they don't listen and the blood upon their hands. Well, according, according to Deuteronomy 28, Israel, Israelites not listening to the prophets, it's a sin. It's a sin. It's yeah. a sin. Yep. 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 Yeah, y'all don't, don't even understand yeah. the amount of sins that they carry. That's the law. They're doing 18. That's the law. That's the law. You understand know rebellion is the sin of witchcraft. How many yeah. rebellion against the, the, the word of a prophet? Well, the scriptures say uh, you don't despise you don't despise man, but you despise the Most High. Right. Mm -hmm. So that's a sin. Ultimately, you speaking against the Most High. Yeah. That's what yeah. makes you your judgment. I got one real quick. Mm -hmm. against, this is uh, Proverbs eight thirty six. It says, "He that sinneth against me wrongeth his own soul. Mm -hmm. All they that hate me love death." You know, mm -hmm. so at the end of the day, you Jakes are doing a disservice to yourself. Yes. Because the Lord gave you the blueprint on what to do. So if you want to go outside <laughs> of that, you just damn yourself. Yeah, like like Apostle Hart said, he said uh, in the video, he said, I will hope for, for Nate's own sake that, that that he would get into the herbs and pray to you how about shy and repent. Right. Right. It yeah. ain't gonna make or break Apostle Hart what, what happens over there. That's right. It ain't gonna determine his fate, you know, his his uh his salvation. He trying to give y'all the, the, the tools in order for you how about your mouth shot to be with you. You know, because like, hey, what the scripture says, uh, if it was the intent of the Lord, all Israel would be saved. But we know mm -hmm. that not to be so. Right, right, right. Because right. mm -hmm. what through the stiffness of Jake's head. Even the Lord said in the book of Kings, if, if all Israel turned to the east and prayed, you know, in one yeah. consent, you know, that would return. It would return. What well, well, the scripture say? It is a, it is the Lord's good pleasure to give you the kingdom. The Lord yeah. want to give Jake the kingdom. Yeah. Just, it's just it's just like man, it's like, you yeah. don't deserve it. It's yeah. just like you having a PlayStation <laughs> in the back. You know, having a PlayStation hidden in your room that you want to give to your sons, yeah. but he keep being a demon. Yeah. Right, right. He's like, I want to give him the fucking PlayStation, he but he's not giving months. me a reason to give it to him. <laughs> it's just back and he ain't gonna appreciate it. Play. Right. I got something. Real quick. This is a uh, Proverbs one and seven. The fear of the Lord is the beginning of knowledge, mm -hmm. but fools despise wisdom and instruction. Mm. And here it is: you got the apostles, the elders, you know, ourselves and other brothers. Giving you wisdom, instruction, and really trying to put the fear of the Lord in you, and you despise it. So what's that going to lead to? That's going to lead to your calamities coming upon you, and the Lord going to turn upon you and bring you down. You know? That's right. That's right. Hey, you know, in the spirit, it's the spirit because, hey, the, the spirit of the Lord had us speaking about the turn up, but, hey, the whole time, it was like the Lord was turning up on you, on you wicked jakes. Mm -hmm. yeah. You know? Hey, like the brother, I, I know this brother... Always bring the scripture out to Brother Abba Baja. Always go into 1 Peter 4 and 17, man. Judgment going to start at the house of the Most High. Yeah. When you read Ezekiel, the ninth chapter, when it talks about uh, 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 any man that have not the mark of uh, go through and destroy with a man, a woman, a child, mm -hmm. guess what? First and foremost, it, it's not talking about the other nations because the other nations can't have the mark of exemption. Right. It's talking about the Israelites that don't have the mark of exemption. That's right. Okay? But the Lord is going to destroy these other nations too. Let's talk about Israel, and that was an angel that was uh that that was um yep. uh, he was speaking to right there, man. Mm -hmm. So them angels gonna come down here and get nasty with you. Oh, yeah, yeah. Hey, okay, it's gonna be the death slash who robbing you niggas, man. <laughs> That's right. You know, yeah. and he gonna percolate. Oh yeah, he gonna turn. Death gonna turn up. Man. Oh what? Oh, Death gonna be throwing it off the backboard on you niggas, man. <laughs> For real. Hey, and the Lord is going to put a the Lord is going to put a cold spirit, a cold spirit on His men to be able to endure the judgment. Yep. And we starting to feel like that now. Yep. You know, I'm to say, yo, that that you know when when Kobe died, I was like, damn. Yeah. I got over that quick. It wasn't like I was okay. down. I was yeah. just like, damn, it's Kobe. It well, but everything it seemed like everything <laughs> else after that, it was just like, all right, well, bet. You know, there was no feeling. Young dog got creamed. I was like, all right, hey, well, hey, take the chicken out the freezer. <laughs> you know, put the chicken in the sink. Right. It was another day. Really you know, it was another day on the, on, in the office, man. Right, you know? Right. This is the battlefield, man. When things get more serious, you don't got time to really even think of, you know, have those thoughts. Of, especially them niggas anyways, you know? Yeah. On top of that. Yeah. You know, yeah. We, we've been speaking about the things being put down for the black niggas. Yeah. Right. 
I be forgetting who did. I be thinking. I be forgetting who did. Yeah, I right. said a list today. Every day. It's one, almost every, every day. day so the Lord, you know why? Because the Lord is, the Lord is putting a cold spirit on us, man. And we got to have a cold spirit. The amount of, the amount of destruction that we got to see. Yeah. We can't be easily moved by this stuff, man. Yeah, that's right. that's true. We can't be, man. Because you, 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 it, 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 you, you'll be emotional. Mm -hmm. Paul's part about being cold hearted. Yeah, you got, hey, you got to, you, except for towards the, the brothers and the elect. Right, right. Everybody else, you got to be like, hey, well, I, I, well, I got to keep marching. Let the dead bury the dead. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, look at that little book of Eli. That chick was damn near getting raped. A lot of people don't go into that. They, they love, they, it was a chick that damn near got raped on the, uh, on his, his trip, and he didn't go and save her. That, yeah. that movie kept going. Yeah. 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 They said, it's none of your concerns stay on the past. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, exactly. It's none of your concerns stay on the past. <laughs> like, yeah. Yeah. Oh, you got a closer? Yeah. Okay, Con, not Con. This is uh, Matthew chapter 5, verse 18. For verily I say unto you, till heaven and earth pass, one jot or one tittle shall in no wise pass from the law till all be fulfilled. Mm -hmm. Whosoever therefore should break one of these least commandments mm -hmm. and should teach men so, mm -hmm. he yeah. should be called the least in the kingdom of heaven. Mm -hmm. But whosoever mm -hmm. shall do and teach them, the same should be called great in the kingdom of heaven. Mm, that's the balance. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Taking so, the command, yeah. taking, teaching people to take the chip. Right. That's a that's a least commandment. Mm -hmm. yeah. Like the Lord has commanded us not to take that. Oh, chip. you remember uh, Nate? He did speak about the dog. What he said, uh, the dog taking a chip. Oh, my dog got a chip. Then that means that he could go buy a lamb then or something like that. Not everybody in the congregation yeah, trying to be funny. Yeah, start laughing. Yeah. You know, that's still mockery of what this. Because the Lord prophesied. When John was in prison, he wrote that down. He that was important, man. Right. You know, he was on the fucking island of Patmos. He was in, in in the harshest, one of the most severe prisons. Everybody and else is dead. Everybody yeah. else is dead. Yeah. And he wrote that in, in the spirit of being serious. That was a solemn uh, letter, man. Mm -hmm. For for men in latter times to read and to recognize what was going on. It's not something to be played with, man. Right. You know, yeah. every word in this book has a level of power, man. You know. And Yep. Uh, yep. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so uh, you, you can wrap it up, uh, Russell. Come. Hey, you know, so that, you know, Lord willing, uh, he was edified, right? We're going to sign off here. We're going to praise his and glory to Yahweh, Ba'ashem, Yahweh Shah, Ba'ashem, Akakodash. The Bible of the Apostles, that was a great love song. Shalom to the elect, Lord willing to the next lesson. Say Shalom. Shalom.